I'm Joyce Anderson Reed, and I'm an American Baptist missionary serving in La Paz, Mexico. We're working with the Baptist Convention of Southern Baja, and they're a, a group of uh, about eight churches here in La Paz. We're the first American Baptist missionaries to serve in La Paz. It was at their invitation to come and help with theological education, uh, with new church development, and also with a ministry to English-speaking people. Uh, I remember when we sat down with the president of the convention at that time, Pastor Alejandro. We at the First Baptist Church of La Paz have also been excited to begin reaching out to the many English-speaking people around us. In addition to the steady stream of tourists, there's a growing number of people who retire and come to live right here in La Paz. We just said, what? <laughs> we, we just spent nine months trying to learn your language so that we could try and minister in Spanish to Mexican people, and you want us to talk to people like us. And he said, but no one is ministering to them. There's no church. We have people who are moving here, who are here on vacation, who cruise here on their boats. So pray about it. Um, so we did. We started a, with a Bible study in our home that grew into a small worship service that also met in our house. And today we have a, a worship center that can seat about 75 people. We called the church Crossroads because we see where people can come and they can cross roads with uh, people from many different countries and locations around the world. It's exciting because a lot of the people that come here from Canada or the United States um, or even Mexicans who just want to learn and practice their English, many of them are on the margins of their faith. They've been running from God for a long time and many of them have come to La Paz looking for a better life. It's kind of the dream place to come. It's one of the top places in the world to retire right now. People are on shaky ground with, with dreams that they thought would satisfy them, but of course if God isn't in the middle of it, it doesn't take them very far. Our vision is sharing the living water of Jesus Christ with thirsty people. Our hope is that as they get grounded in God again, we can uh, raise up that aspect of servanthood so they can go back into the community and be servants for Christ.